Hey buddy, this is just Martin 91 and today I'm here to talk to you guys about the new movie, Missing, which is a standalone sequel to the movie Searching from 2018, which was a global hit. So, what made that movie so great was basically how it took social media, something that's within our lives every day, and took it to a whole other scale. Made a whole movie around it, and it was surprisingly emotional. Execution was basically flawless, beat for beat. It basically got you invested. You were there with the character. You were there with our uh, protagonist there. And you really felt the pain. You really felt his um, emotions surge as things veered and things seemed cascading and all that. You were there, all right? That movie did well because of word of mouth, because of how well the writing happened, how well the cast had the chemistry. It was it it just it just meshed. This movie, The Missing, is trying to, in a sense, replicate it, but in another sense, it did veer off. Now, when I'm just gonna ease into this, it tried to be bigger and better. Now, usually, when a movie tries this hard, I feel like sometimes it's um drops the ball and why is that though so you need to remember why the original worked and a sequel's job should be to you know i guess revitalize that or enhance that if you can but don't try to outdo your original movie don't try so hard to try and actually because here's the thing at first, the movie, to me, was predictable, okay? And I wish it was predictable the whole way through at this point. Because it starts off with a very similar, very familiar element. You you, you know what's going to happen, kind of. Person gets lost, all of that. And to the point where actually the clues are being laid out, how the resolution, the resolves, and all of that. They, they, they all kind of seem to be coming into fruition to the point where I'm like, okay, cool. This is going to happen. This is going to happen. And it was fun, predictable, and all of that until it veered off its course. And in my eyes, honestly, that's what made it messy. Which is kind of weird to say because you know what? It dared to do something different. Which would be great if it did it with a better execution. It set up a lot of things that it didn't follow up on. It didn't deliver on certain things. That being said, the performances were great for what they were. But the movie had so many holes in it that, frankly, you weren't invested. I thought this movie was 30 minutes longer than the original film, how much it dragged. And I actually did the research just before I turned this thing on. This movie is only 9 minutes longer than the original movie was. And I felt like there's a whole half hour that was taped onto this thing. I wasn't invested. It lost me. I'm not saying it didn't have something to say, and I'm not saying it didn't have some powerful messages within it. I just feel like the execution was just very poorly delivered. For me, this is very much a six and a half out of ten, if I would rate it. Um... It has its moments, it's enjoyable, but it's nowhere near perfection. And frankly, the more I talk about it, the more I think about it, the lower it's going to get. <laughs> so I'm not saying don't go see this. In fact, I am saying if you like the original movie, check this out. Why not? What's the reason not to? Especially on this weekend. After this weekend, word of mouth is going to get out and then we're going to see the popular consensus and then that's going to define people's opinion because that's how this goes. But honestly, in my opinion, it will always be the case. Go out and form your own. Do yourself a favor. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. And um, I'm interested in what you think about it. If, if there's something you saw that I didn't see. Or if you want to compare notes, I'm always there for that. For me, this was a forgettable title. It will be so. And nothing will change that, unfortunately. But who knows what it could mean for you. I love the original. I will always hold that as one of the top 
titles of 2018, but here we are. Sometimes the ball drops and sometimes the execution is flawless. You don't know if you don't try. And that goes for viewing it too. You don't know if you don't watch it. So don't always take the other person's word for it. But hey, this is my two cents. Have a good one. Enjoy the movies. And until next time, see you.